What are the stereotypes of historically black colleges and universities? HBCUs are only for black students. Racially divisive. Ghetto. Run down. Lower class. All the students there are black. Irrelevant. My parents were kind of like nervous. People said I wouldn't fit in. We have never discriminated against anyone who wanted to come to get an education. Does historically black mean exclusively black? No, it's a statement of history and not of current execution. They were created to educate the children and descendants of, of free slaves to produce teachers, preachers, and farmers. In the 40s and 50s, there's still a navigable space of segregation, but you're starting to see the formation of the black middle class. And everything we know to be black wealth, black political capital, black cultural influence, affirmative visualizations of blackness in America started at our campuses. But what if you're an HBCU student and not black? A long and arduous journey it has been in pursuit of excellence and achievement. In 2008, Josh Packwood became valedictorian of one of the most iconic HBCUs, Morehouse College. People are still shocked that I went to Morehouse, but even more so that white people are allowed to attend. For me, being the one or one of few was actually a very key part of why I wanted that experience because I just felt like that would be so transformative in how I would think. Josh spent most of his time at Morehouse without ever seeing another white face on campus. That experience is something of being the only that people of color often feel. At the end of the day, I was born a white male in America. I come from the most privileged class on the planet. Coming to this environment, I still held my tongue probably more than I would have if I was not a minority. It did kind of force me to be more of a listener at times. Today, 11% of HBCU students are white, and there's a growing number of Latino, Asian, and international students. Delaware State University started out as the State College for Colored Students. Its first classroom was a former plantation house. Fast forward to 2016, and this is their women's tennis team. University President Dr. Williams says non-black students have always been welcome. HBCUs are the only higher education institution that did not put any discrimination standards in the door to say you can't get in. But now diversity is a matter of survival. These schools need bodies. A quarter of the residents here are African Americans, and to think that that population could sustain a historically black institution is just not realistic. Despite their original purpose, today only 8% of black college students go to HBCUs. Some HBCUs have financial incentives from the state to meet diversity quotas. And demographic shifts have turned others majority white. Does diversity ultimately affect the state admission of an HBCU? Sometimes people think that because you have white people on your campus that you got to change. You don't have to change. Don't run away from your heritage. Why do we have in our mission statement that it's a black institution? Because that's part of our history. That's what we stand for. So what does a non-black student get from an HBCU that they wouldn't get from a predominantly white school? It's a different atmosphere to be a majority to a minority. My high school only had like two uh, African-American kids and I could see like maybe what they go through. I mean, I wish I talked to them a little bit more now. I haven't like met many black tennis players. I went to like a predominantly white high school. It's definitely given me the opportunity to see it from the other side. It's opened my eye to different types of racism. So how do you unstereotype historically black schools? For as much as the nation says that we like diversity, why does the burden of diversity fall on the ethnic minority? Why doesn't the resources and the human capital find their way to historically black houses? Why don't white folks find their way to historically black communities? I think diversity in its truest form is the ability for people to go into an underserved or underrepresented population and learn. I think the world would be a better place if more people would open themselves up to just step out of their norm, you know? Just open themselves up to the, the world that's out there. In order to achieve success, in order to contribute to the world, you have to bring a different perspective. It's very difficult to bring a different perspective if you have not had different experiences from those around you. Our lineage is clear, our kinship is clear. 
I am proud to be your brother. Thank you.